Okay, we're going to be talking about representing proportional relationships as equations today. Now, you've seen this before, but you may have actually seen it in a different form, which it does mean the same thing. This says here, let's go back, that y is equal to mx. Well, you may have seen this as y is equal to k. X. This is the same exact thing. In this equation, this m is your constant, but you will also see your constant written as a slope, and your m represents slope. So either way, you can write these equations. So this equation will represent a linear equation. You can conclude that when x is 0, then y is 0. When x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 0. And we are talking about the equation. So, down here you have y is equal to mx. This means whenever your x is 0 and your y is 0, that it will pass through the point 0, 0. Hey, that's a proportional relationship. Well, why? why how does that work? Well, when your y is 0, let's plug it in. Your y is 0, you have your m, whatever your m may be. That is your slope, that's your constant of proportionality. And that will be times your x if it's 0. Well, 0, bring it down, is equal to anything times 0 is 0. So this means that 0 is equal to 0, which is correct. And keep in mind that this was your y. And that could be your x. So y is equal to x. 0 is equal to 0. This shows a proportional relationship. It is a linear equation that goes through 0, 0. Now, I've already said it, but here it, here it is again. The equation y equals mx, which also could be written as y equals kx. It is the constant. m is going to be equal to Slope, most of the time you'll see m as slope, but that is also in this equation the constant of proportionality and the unit rate. All of these things, this, this constant in a proportional relationship is always the same. Okay, remember that you can find this constant by using y over x. Okay, so let's check out here. Remember, the, uh, an equation that will show a proportional relationship is y is equal to mx. Now, this is the equation that we're going to use, but before we can actually write an equation, we're going to have to figure out what the slope is. We're going to have to figure out what the constant of proportionality is. So, let's find a point. Looking at our graph, let's find a point. Here's a point here. Well, what is that point? Well, this here is 1. So, in this middle point here, that's going to have to be 0 0.5, 1 half, however you want to write it. It's the same thing. Okay, so that is going to represent your x. Your y, now we're going to have to go up, is at 20. So, this is 0 0.5, 20. That is our point. Now that we have a point, and now that we have an x and a y, we can now find the constant. Remember that your constant is going to be equal to, and we'll write it as m today, m is going to be equal to y over x. So, this remember this is your x and this is your y. So that would be your constant your slope, your constant of proportionality, your unit rate. These are all the same things when you have a proportional relationship. So 20 over 0 0.5. That's going to give us what we need. And that answer is equal to 40. So in this problem, our unit rate, constant of proportionality, and our slope is 40. So to write this proportional relationship as an equation, it would be y is going to be equal to 40x. The only thing that you are going to be looking for 
is your m. Let me rewrite this 40. That kind of looks funny. y is equal to 40x. This, my friend, is your answer. Same thing. We want to write an equation representing a proportional relationship. We know that an equation to represent a proportional relationship is y is equal to mx. We want to find our constant. We cannot write an equation until we have our constant. We want our slope. Okay, so let's find a point. Hey, here's one right here. But hey, let's let's not do a half this time. Let's, let's choose another point. Let's move on up. Here's a, where they meet. So this point here, our x is 1, and our y is 20. So that point there is 120. And if we just look, we, look at this graph, here's our days, here's our miles. So what this graph is telling me, that in one day, the biking distance that this person is going is 20 miles. Hey, that's our unit rate. So let's check it out since we already know our unit, right? Let's write it as y over x. Our slope, our constant of proportionality, our unit rate, is the same thing as y over x. Our y is 20, and our x is 1. So our constant is going to be equal to 20. Now that we have found our m, we can plug it in. So our answer, let's do a different color. It's going to be y is equal to 20x. This is the equation that will represent the proportional relationship. Okay, we want to write an equation now with this board problem. The total number of eggs, t, collected in one day from a chicken coop is proportional to the number of chickens C in the coop. If each chicken laid the same number of eggs, hmm, constant, four, write an equation that could be used to find the total number of eggs collected from the coop. So, we're looking for the total number of eggs. So, the total number of eggs is represented by T. So we know the total is going to be equal to something. Well, we know that t, the number of eggs, is proportional to the number of chickens, c. So remember, an equation that would represent a proportional relationship is y equals mx, where your m is the constant. So we know here, if we compare it to the letters we are given, we know that here y is equal to your constant time x. In this problem, our t is going to be equal to our constant times whatever else t is proportional to. If we read in our problem, we see that 4 is our constant. If ch each chicken laid the same number of eggs, that's, the same, that's something that's not changing. So our m is 4. And we also know that the number of chickens is proportional. If we want to show a, rel a proportional relationship between y and x, we write this as our equation. We want to show a proportional relationship between t and c. So t and c are the items that are proportional. The total number of eggs is proportional to the same number of chickens. And we can represent our constant by 4. This is the equation that we need. Try this one on your own. Write an equation to represent this proportional relationship. Also, remember to write your summary and ask any questions that you may have.